So, Susie Mathis, you are uh, a pop star, you are a, you are a vocal coach, and you are a fundraiser extraordinaire, and, oh, and of wow. course a DJ as well. Oh, well, thanks very much. Um, it's all in the past tense, really. I think it's like fallen idol, more like. <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't, I, no, I wouldn't say that. You, no, you've got, it all happened a long time ago. Yeah, but you've, you've got this huge reputation, you've got this back catalogue, not only of, of musical material, but also, also, uh, also the work that you've done, which oh, is amazing. So, thank you. really, you deserve a gong. Thank you so much, but uh, I don't need a gong because the memories are phenomenal. Well, that's brilliant. Well, to be, to be in the pop business in the 60s, you yep. can't ask for much more than that. No, absolutely. And also to be in radio at the heyday of independent radio taking off, you can't yep. ask for a better time than that. Yeah, fantastic. And to actually raise the millions for the hospice through the Kirsty Appeal, well, yep. that's a privilege. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, can, I can only applaud you for that. It's yeah. utterly amazing. I know Thank that you. you've done so much. Uh -huh. But now, but now you've come to Manor Park Classics with your little Nissan Figaro I and have. it's such a beautiful little car but you've decided to sell it. Yes it's a really really difficult decision one of the hardest I've made for a few years. Um, the thing is really my life has changed uh, yeah. as you get older you know I've moved home I don't have the garage and I can't give it the TLC that this little car deserves. I understand. And it's, it's heartbreaking because I, wherever I go, people stop me and say, I love that car, what is that car? It's beautiful, um, and it is. And you know, these days, I think the colors of cars are rubbish. Yes. But I think my little car and all the car, the four colors of the Figaro yep. uh, from the very beginning are all so beautiful. And this one in particular, because this represents spring. Yes. So uh, for me, this was always the one that I wanted. And everything about this car has been very special to me. So it's, it's very difficult to give it up, but it, it sadly is the right thing to do. Where I go from here and what I have next. Who knows? Because everything I like is here. <laughs> 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 but unfortunately, I can't do that. I, I, I have to move on. I'm 74 this year and it's oh. time to, you know, to maybe get a a proper little, you know, do-goody car, boring old thing. Well, I think <laughs> that this is a lovely car. And mm. as, a, as, I mean, these have always looked like classic cars right from their inception. Yeah. But now, of course, this car is the best part of 30 years of age. It is 30 years of age uh, this year. Yeah. It is. And there were only 20,000 made yes. uh, originally. Why they ever stop making a car that's as beautiful as this... That's true. ...is beyond me. And it's they're, totally they're, beyond me. And they're easy to live with as well. Oh, it's, it's like jumping into it. You, it's, it like, it's, it's the first kind of era of modern cars where you can just jump in and they work. Yeah. And it's like drive a comfortable somewhere. shoe. Yeah. And, you know, uh, even I, I haven't had a garage in this last year. And of course, with lockdown, everything changes. Everything yes. has changed. Yes. And certainly my whole life has changed. So it, with great sadness, but it is like a comfy shoe. And it's also you feel like you're... You're sort of on command whenever you're in the Figaro yep. because everybody, it catches everybody's eye. And I hope whoever's lucky enough to get this little car can have half the pleasure that I have had. Well, that will be brilliant. And I know that these cars are not for shrinking violets and you are certainly not a shrinking violet. I'm four foot 11, but I, let's hope I don't shrink anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think whoever buys this car is going to be very lucky and they're going to have a real treat because oh. you've loved it, you've looked after it and it's a splendid little car. I love it. Up close, it looks fantastic. Thank you, Fuzz. Same as its owner. Pleasure. Am I allowed to say that? You are. It's lovely of you. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to Manor Park. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Let's hope it goes for a, a real, real to a great to a great owner and also for a good price. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's got to buy me a boring car, unfortunately. Oh, I don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> well, have you got a year? I'll tell you. There we are. <laughs>